चैप्टर ट्वेल्व बियॉन्ड अर्थ क्वेश्चन आंसर्स क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी लेटर्स एनहांस आर लर्निंग क्वेश्चन वन मैच दी कॉलम कॉलम वन कॉलम टू फर्स्ट सेटेलाइट ऑफ अर्थ डी मून सेकेंड रेड प्लेनेट सी मार्स थर्ड कॉन्स्टलेशन ए और आयन फोर्थ प्लेनेट विच इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एन इवनिंग स्टार बी वीनस सेकेंड फर्स्ट Solve the following riddle. My first alphabet is in man, but not in can. So answer is M. My second alphabet is in is, and also in pan. So alphabet is A. Next, my third alphabet is in re, and not in cat. So alphabet is R. My fourth alphabet is in sun, but not in fun. So alphabet is S. I am a planet that moves around the sun. so the planet is mars second make two similar riddles by yourself so friends you have to do this yourself question 3 which of the following is not a member of our solar system answer first sirius question 4 which of the following is not a planet of the sun answer second pluto question 5 which is the brightest star the pole star or sirius answer sirius is the brightest star Question six: An artist's representation of the solar system is given in Figure twelve point one two. This one is the order of the planets correct? So order of the planets is not correct. If not, write the correct order in the boxes in the figure. So friends, the actual figure of the solar system is this one. As you can see, this is Sun. Then first planet is Mercury. Second is Venus. Third Earth. Fourth Mars. Fifth Jupiter. Sixth Saturn, seventh Uranus, eighth Neptune, and this is the asteroid belt. The order of the planets should be Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So this is one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, and eight. Question seven: A portion of night sky with stars is shown in Figure twelve point one three. This one. Look carefully and identify the groups of stars that form the patterns, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Draw lines to connect the stars for these patterns and label them. Also, identify and label the pole star. You may refer to Figure 12.4 for help. The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper are part of the constellations Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, respectively. The pole star Polaris is part of the Little Dipper. So friends this is the little dipper and this is the pole star and this is the big dipper so like this one you can join the lines and here you can also join the lines of little dipper and this is the pole star question 8 a portion of the night sky is shown in figure 12.14 this one draw lines to connect the stars for orion and label the star sirius you may refer to figure 12.3 answer The picture shows Orion constellation and the star Sirius. The stars are connected with lines and labeled. So friends, this is the figure 12.3. This is Sirius and this is the Orion. This is Canis Major and this is Taurus. So you can draw the lines to connect the stars for Orion and label the star Sirius. Question 9. You can see stars fading away at dawn and appearing at dusk. During the day we do not see the stars explain why answer stars fade away at dawn and appear at dusk because of the brightness of the sun during the day the sunlight is so bright that it outshines the light from the stars making them invisible at dusk as the sun sets and the sky darkens the stars become visible again question 10 during a clear night try to observe the big dipper 3 to 4 times at an interval of 2 to 3 hours also try to locate the pole star each time does the big dipper appear to move draw a rough sketch to illustrate this mentioning the time in each case answer the big dipper appears to move around the pole star due to the rotation of the earth this sketch would show the big dipper at different positions in the sky at different times indicating its apparent movement around the pole star Question 11 think about the night sky and write a poem or a story on it friends we will first read the poem and then a story so you can write them accordingly poem whispers of the night sky 
the night sky whispers soft and clear as stars awake and sky turns sheer a velvet blanket dark yet bright holds endless secrets in its light the moon a guardian glows afar guiding dreams from star to star planets dance in silent grace weaving tales through endless space each constellation bold and old speaks of legends once foretold of kings and queens and battles won stories written by the sun but in the quiet calm and deep the night holds promises we keep for every dream beneath its sky find wings to soar learns how to fly next story a night of stars Webhav lay on the rooftop staring at the endless spread of stars the world was silent except for the occasional hum of a distant vehicle but up there in the sky a different universe seemed to unfold his grandfather had told him stories about these stars each one holds a wish a dream that someone once whispered into the universe he had said webhav always wondered if his wishes had already found a star hanging somewhere in the night sky waiting to come true tonight the sky felt more alive than ever the moon bright and serene cast a silver glow on the world below the stars twinkled as if they knew something secret something the earth bound could never truly understand webber felt small under the vastness of it all but also strangely comforted the constellations felt like a puzzle pieces of a story waiting to be pieced together he traced his finger along the stars imagining them connecting into shapes orion the hunter he whispered to himself recalling his grandfather's favorite constellation as he lay there webber closed his eyes and made a wish sending it to the stars hoping it would find its way he knew in that magical moment under the night sky that anything was possible and maybe just maybe the universe was listening friends we have completed all the question answers from the chapter if you like the video kindly like it and share it with your friends thank you for watching